Good morning, this is Todd Mitchell for Thursday, February 5th, and I am right now trading the Dow Futures, um, uh, let's see, the E-minis, I am already long from a day ago, it's uh, kind of a, like a little swing trade here, as you can see I'm up on that trade, about $817, so I'm not putting anything new on right now in this market. <clears throat> Excuse me, but in the Dow, I think this is going to continue higher. Uh, I typically do not chase a market. I don't, but unfortunately, I had some personal issues this morning I had to take care of, and I missed this beautiful setup right down in here. Um, and so I'm okay. So I missed the trade down in here. I believe it's going to go continue going higher, and I don't want to miss the trade, so I got in right in here. But I am going to be entering again if if we can pull down a bit so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna measure my fib lines just to give me logical support in here and I'll be buying it if we are if we're able to drop into this level and now on the other hand if we continue to kinda of just slowly gradually move higher then that's fine and I'll just take some profits and then wait for a clean a clean trade but I'm gonna pause the video and let's just wait to see what Okay, talk about frustration. Okay, look at look at this. Had an order here to buy five, but I put it in late because I had to go down the hall to go to the restroom, and I missed it right here on this bar. You see this? Look at this. You got to learn from this because I'm telling you, Murphy's law is something when you turn your back and you're looking for a setup, you miss the trade. Look look at this. So from the last time that I I paused the video right I told you I was looking to buy it down at the 38.2 went to the restroom real quick without uh, placing my limit order look at this market came down I came back during this bar and then threw in the order and it never came back and look at the bounce so the market did exactly like I was looking to do and missed the trade because I had left so that is a good good lesson to place your order ahead of time. I went to the restroom thinking, okay, maybe it's going to continue higher. It's not going to go down immediately. So I paused the video, I believe, about right in here, went down, came back literally within four minutes. The market had come down to this level, and we were trading on this bar here, threw it in one tick lower from than where it was at the time that I placed the order here. Look at this. Never hit it. Came right back up, took out the high did exactly exactly as we intended so yes that is extremely extremely uh, annoying and I'm, that was my mistake because if I if I had gotten filled right in here in the market I'd be taking off half the position would have been locking in a few hundred dollars and then I'd be practically a break even right now so let me just take this order out pause the video and let's see what happens all right, I am back, and I am just going to go ahead and take profits. The market has come back up. I'm going to go ahead and take off. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I should have made a lot more money on this trade, but again, I guess going to the restroom was a thing that hindered me. So I'm just going to take four off here, okay? Order filled. All right, so we locked in 140. Not, you know what? I'm just going to take the whole thing off. This was a whole screw-up trade. Should have been long here. Would have been taking a majority out here. Just, I just, I knew this market would go higher, but I knew from this point when I bought it right in here that the market would pull back, minimum to that 40% or 38.2% retracement, and it did just that. So just a quick, quick recap here. Bought it here, thinking it was going higher, but was prepared to buy it again right in here. Again, went to the restroom, missed the trade, threw it in here, missed it completely. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and take the rest out here. Yeah, let's see. All right, so here we go. So as you learn today, everyone makes mistakes, right? So we took out 180 on this, and there you go. I still believe this market's moving higher and we'll see what happens if the market pulls back I'd like to get another setup here so basically to set that up to help set that up rather I want to remeasure from low to that new high of the day we've got the retracements here 
I also would want to measure from this swing low right there up to the high of the day. If you, took a, if you take a quick look at those two swings, you've got the 60 of the smaller move and the 40 of the entire move. This would be a good area in which to be looking to buy it again. Okay, so let's see what happens in here. Have a great day. Hope that helps. Be back with you tomorrow.